February is American Heart Month, and all month long, we're focused on improving our cardiovascular health. For some patients, the many forms of heart disease can be confusing. Dr. Nidhi Kumar is on call to help us learn more about heart health and why exercise is beneficial for all. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing great. Now, the heart is such a vital uh, organ, and so let's just start with the basics. What is a heart attack? Okay, well, let's start first with okay. coronary artery disease. And this, it's a hard concept, mm -hmm. so we brought a lot of visuals today. So coronary artery disease forms because of plaque buildup in the arteries that mm -hmm. supply blood to the heart. If we want to get a better look as to what's going on in the arteries, we have this little model. And this plaque is made up of cholesterol deposits. Mm -hmm. Now, over time, the plaque builds up and the artery starts to narrow. And as this process progresses, that's when we get chest pain. We get shortness of breath. Now, this plaque is the precursor to a heart attack. And once this blockage becomes 100%, that is what causes a heart attack. Blood flow completely gets cut off to the heart. Now, it's hard sometimes to kind of conceptualize these blockages and blood flow. So what I do is I try to break it down and I say the heart is like a tree. Okay, so just like a tree has needs a water supply, mm -hmm. the heart has a blood supply. And so um, the heart is made up of a trunk, okay, and then three major vessels and lots of little blood vessels. Now you can imagine if there is a blockage in the trunk, mm -hmm. the entire tree or the entire heart is going to go down. We call that the left main coronary artery. On the street, people call it the widow maker. I don't oh, like the term, yeah, yeah. I don't like the term, but it's out there. Um, but more commonly, people have blockages in one of these three major vessels. So if you're a patient who has coronary artery disease mm -hmm. or your doctor said you have a block, you want to say, well, which vessel is it? Mm. What is the extent? Is it is a 70%, 80%, 90% blockage? And where in the vessel? Is it close to the trunk? Well, mm -hmm. that's a big problem because then there's a huge amount of blood flow and tree or heart that's going to get compromised. Or is it farther out? Still an issue, but not as threatening. Wow. Yeah. All right, what is heart failure and what causes that? Well, so the heart functions like a pump for the body. Mm -hmm. Heart failure occurs when the heart is unable to pump enough blood to meet the needs of the body. And this occurs because of a cardiomyopathy, which means something happened to compromise the heart muscle. It got weakened, it got stretched, it went through some sort of structural changes. So the main causes of heart failure are coronary artery disease, mm -hmm. like we just discussed, uncontrolled hypertension, infections can do it, drugs, alcohol, or there can be genetic causes. We treat it by treating the underlying cause and then by giving medications to remodel the heart. Why is exercise so important to prevent coronary artery disease? So exercise reduces cardiac mortality 30%. I mean, that is a powerful impact. It can reduce the incidence of having a cardiac event, even improve survival if you have had an event. It works on many different levels. It controls risk factors, diabetes, hypertension, um, cholesterol. Uh, also works on the anatomic level by, you know, we saw those, there was tons of little arteries there. It recruits these arteries, it activates them, and they kind of serve as an insurance policy if something happens to the bigger arteries. Uh, it increases the secretion of certain cardioprotective chemicals like nitric oxide, which is a vasodilator. And then finally, it makes our heart cells more resilient. Mm. It changes the structure of the heart cells. So if you're ever in a low oxygen state, those cells are better equipped to handle that. Thank you so much for all this information. You know, this whole month we're, we're celebrating heart health and actually Elise and I are gonna go get our hearts checked out today. Oh, wow. And then we'll sh share with viewers what happened. So Dr. Nidhi Kumar, thanks so much for being here. We really appreciate it. Yep, thank you.